All right, so we touched down on Triton, and after a quick assessment, we got straight to work. Our drop pod transformed from a basic landing craft into a sleek and powerful drill ship. The ship is now more than just a way to get around, it's our first step towards conquering this frozen world. We established our first base and made significant upgrades. Focusing on gathering the essential resources we needed to survive and thrive in this harsh environment. But this is just the beginning. Oh, uh, <laughs> too big. Welcome back to our reboot of Let's Automate Space Engineers. In this episode, we'll be diving into some critical automation that will make our lives here on Triton a whole lot easier. Right, today we're going to set up a sorting system to make sure our resources are well organized and to ensure that they're kind of sorted we'll be able to direct material in the direction that we want it to go and automate the flow of resources between refineries storages assemblers and so on all the while we'll also be attempting to ensure that we keep ice inside our ships so that we're not running out of any of the needed hydrogen to keep our current drill ship running now as if our little drill ship wasn't janky enough as it is uh we are also going to be adding to its functionality making it a little bit more of a monster uh we're going to be using a connector and a drill off the bat not a drill a connector and a what are they called a welder connector and a welder off the back to allow us to get early access to a welding ship without really having to invest too much resources um and that is going to be how we're going to build up majority of the components and uh kind of the ba uh, foundation for our uh kind of safer base so yeah that's what's in store um stick around and we'll see how we go all right so I kind of didn't want to make you watch me do too much of the mining out of where the safe uh, safer base i need to come up with a better name if you've got an idea for a name for this let me know in the comments uh but for now it's safe base so i didn't want to make you watch too much of the safe base uh drilling out um so i've got a little bit of it here in a time lapse for you um i just wanted to show that we did like we, we drilled it out ourselves we didn't kind of cheat in anything to do it um and like we're not going to go too overboard like we're not going to fill up the full size of the hole it's more just so that i'm not going to crash into stuff as i go in and out um the biggest thing i wanted was for drone at least a drone to be able to come in and out to, uh, our starting drone to get us some resources and then um eventually it'll just be the what is the word i'm looking for the transport drone which its whole job will be to carry resources from our external sites into the space um so that is kind of what we're going for um yeah and then we'll go straight into kind of the playthrough now all right i've teased you with enough stuff at this point and taken you through so so much different things it's about time that we actually got in and got stuff done so first things first uh we have uh done quite a bit of mining trips i've added a refinery to the base just to try and speed up uh the production of resources uh, especially since I wanted to go ahead and get a bunch of components ready for us to do our base build. Um, I didn't want us to have to sit around for too long waiting for things to be made up. So I made those all up before we started. And saying that by talking about making it up before we started, I'm probably removing some of that efficiency, but not all of it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some uh, steel plate. Actually, we could load this onto our... Load this into ding, 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 our medium cargo container. Search medium. Let's grab a bunch of that. Bunch of that. We're going to go do a rough layout. 
let's jump into our ship and head on over. Now, this 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 trip's gonna be a really long trip to get to our base. Just kidding. Um, I I kind of tried to make sure that it was close-ish to where we started. We've already found resources here. Uh, it made sense to keep it fairly close by. Like, you can still see the main platform from here. Um, so this is going to be... Actually, we might turn our thrusters off just so we don't waste hydrogen. Let's redo our thrusters group. Save. And we'll just bonk it down. Yep. So now we're not wasting hydrogen or power. Um, so we're going to come quite a bit into the cave here. See if I can get this lined up with kind of how I was drilling it. And I generally, like, I would normally place these down, place some blocks down as I'm drilling the cave to try and keep me straight-ish. That going to be straight-ish. Easiest way to tell is to build a few more out. And then kind of look at how the line is with the cave. Okay, so we do need to slightly angle a bit more. Ah, I really should have had a block placed for this so that we didn't have to worry about it. Okay, regardless of how crooked this one looks, this is the... Uh, the angle we're going to use for the platform for the base. And I'm going to quickly go through, grind this out. Oh, nice and quick. Yes. Right. So that is going to be kind of the full width of the base. Um, we do need to do some mining still because I don't, um, I don't intend on putting a door in straight away and I am scared that something's going to be able to fire straight through this massive hole we've opened and destroy stuff so we will be turning a corner um, but that's easier to do once you've got some blocks down so you can I, I use them to align um, the drill ship and make sure that I'm kind of in a straight ish line um, just means that everything is a lot more form fitting and uh, and it ends up looking uh, a bit nicer. And that's just my personal opinion, especially since, you know, some of this isn't going to get filled in for quite some time. Um, so, yeah, we, we kind of want it to, to look nice with just the stone uh, until we are rolling in resources like we were in our last series and able to... Um, able to kind of spend a little more frivolous, frivolously on things like walls and pressurization and doors and stuff. But for now, we don't really have that luxury um, because we don't have the drill rig and the amount of time it took me to get the resources for the first uh, uh, drill rig Um. It, it would equivocate to like three or four episodes. So uh, I rather than trying to force that, uh, I figured we'll go for a base. We're going to get a single uh, refinery in here. We're not going to put any upgrade modules on it. We're trying. I'm trying to force us to go out and build the um, the pan base. So I'm going to go ahead and continue kind of filling in the floor. And yes, I know interior blocks are cheaper to use for floors. I just like. I, yeah, I, I don't know why I use light armor. It's, I just did. Anyway, uh, we're going to time lapse the filling in of this last little bit of the floor, and then I'll show you why we've done it and how it makes life easier. Uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. So now that we've got the base platform down, uh, this is how I would normally go about uh, kind of mining out for bases is I would take my drill ship, 
I would fly it over the platform. And now that we've got a platform there, uh, oh geez, I'm getting a little too close to that. Uh, but now that we've got a platform, we can look from on top and we can line it up with the uh, the blocks that are, have been placed on the ground. And by using that, we can also, as long as when we look forwards, we are level. Uh, next thing we want to do is see how deep our drills are affecting the ground and whether or not they're affecting the walls. And then that's how I, that, that's pretty much it. Now that I've done that, when I go forwards, it's going to be perfectly in line with uh well almost perfectly in line uh with what we've built and to try and stop me from going off the line i will open my inventory while holding right click and that means right click stays i no longer need to touch my mouse now it's all just keyboard binds making sure that i move uh nice and slow because if, if i go too fast i'll crash into it i'm going to lose my angle um i've just noticed my mouse has moved I'm going to lose my angle, and if I lose my angle, uh, it's going to throw off the drilling. And if I throw off the drilling, it's going to make things a little more difficult. Um, I'm not going to make you sit through while I drill this out. Again, we will uh, time lapse this. Uh, hopefully, I don't run out of hydrogen while I'm in here. And um, I'll bring you guys back. Once I've got a little bit more of the kind of floor plan uh, laid out and a better idea of how we're going to be building the space. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I, I may time lapse some of this. I'm not going to time lapse all of it. it it's going to be a little bit of time doing this. All right, we'll see you guys again in just a little bit. Alright, so uh, I've done about as much drilling as I intend to do for now. Um, so you'll be noticing that we've left some kind of voxel in place. This was intentional. So down here is where I intend to kind of keep the ship docked. Up top, well, no, we'll probably put the ship up top. Down here is probably where we're going to put a rover. Um, it'll be kind of more garage space than anything. And it'll be where we... Um, build up any ships that we need or vehicles we need. So kind of will be in the down uh, stairs area. In the upper area, we will kind of split up our storage and production for now. Eventually, we'll spread them out a bit more. But, you know, for a temporary base and somewhere to be a little bit safer, uh, this should do us quite nicely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill in some of the floor and uh, we'll time lapse that again so you don't have to put up with, uh, you know, 30 minutes of me just placing blocks. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once I've got it done, it should give a bit more of an idea of exactly how this is going to look. So we'll be back in a bit again. Right, uh, that was, again, a lot quicker than I was intending it to be, but it is done. We kind of have our upstairs area, uh, which we will make this part here the first dock for our uh, mining drone. Um, we will make the area over here the dock for our current drill ship. And then uh, we will set it up where we've got a cargo container downstairs for us to access everything um, so that we're able to build in the lower areas. And th I think this, yeah, th this is going to do us quite well for quite a long time in theory. Uh, in practice, uh, we'll see how I go. <laughs> 
uh, I, I have a really bad habit of crashing things uh, or attracting uh, hostile NPCs back to base. So we're going to try to avoid doing too much of that. So in this back corner here, this is essentially our safest point um, because the I, I don't expect the AI... And you know this this might come back to bite me in, in in the ass at some point, but I don't expect the AI to be able to pathfind into here for the hostile NPCs. Generally, they will stay up at like one k and just try to bombard you, which means anything kinda in this opening where you can see out to the sky that is at risk. Anything uh, around the corner here where you can't see the outside should, in theory, be safe emphasis on the in theory part of that so we're going to go ahead and back here is where we're going to be putting our storage uh three and we want a large cargo container we're going to tuck it back on a, a little bit we're going to leave an air gap because i want to kind of segregate like i, I know we've come a long way from segregation but in, in, in this case, segregation is quite important because I'm going to use a sorting system using conveyor sorters uh, instead of using a script this early in the game. Uh, so we'll do one for ores. We'll leave a gap of what? Two? One, two. One for ingots. One, two. One for components. Um... And then I'm just realizing, I know I said we had enough space, but we may not. Uh, are we going to want a refinery? And this is the one and only refinery. We're going to, yeah, we'll go with the tier three refinery. And one of refinery, we'll give it a space of two again. Uh, I've just noticed I'm probably going to have to dock the drill ship below for now, which is okay. I'd rather have this stuff safe than, um, yeah, than, than dock ships up here. It's because of how much I've spaced everything out. Damn it. Uh, so we need a refinery. No energy. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Get back in the cockpit and charge up. Now that we've got all of our hydrogen back, this is, we, we finally finished laying out the base. So I admittedly, I did make a slight change. I decided to extend it um, out the other side as well. And it gives us a bay that we will turn into a, uh, into our welding bay. Um, and yeah, eventually this will have a ship printer in it. But for now, it is going to be our production. So kind of the current plan is ores will come into here. Ingots will be underneath here. And then our uh, components will end up over here. Um, and that's purely because from that angle, I feel like our ores are the most likely to get hit i don't intend to store too much ores on the space eventually i would like to convert you know majority of the base into uh component storage but for now this gets us out of a jam um so yeah we're going to do all our storage underneath uh, i'm going to turn these corners into kind of one corner will be like a little server room um for early game kind of programmable blocks batteries and all of that good stuff the other corner will be for uh, our hydrogen engines uh, and we'll keep our o2h2s up top uh but yeah that that is roughly how the base is going to look i'm gonna go and start laying out kind of where things will go and uh, we'll go from there.
Right, uh, I've kind of got a rough layout of how things are going to go. So we've got our incoming connector up here, which just comes down through conveyors. Uh, this is where things get a little complicated. This is going to be easier to explain once we've got um, everything welded up. But so it, this is a conveyor six-way kind of, what are they called? Conveyor junction. Um which I'm then putting into a four-way cross-section into three sorters so that I can drain the ore ship as quickly as possible into the ore containers. Um, we also set up here to split off just in case the ore ship has, or whatever ship we dock on the incoming port, has anything for the other containers, which it will for the initial kind of load up of everything from the other base. So we can then pass that on down the main kind of line continuing on. Uh, we've got another junction here ready to go up for our refinery. We follow it along. Uh, up the top here is another sorter which is going to pull out all of the ingots uh, that are getting smelted by our refinery and they're going to be forced into those containers. Um, and then we've got another output here on the bottom, which is just getting fed back into the main line. I've got a few places where it can cycle stuff back through just in case I mess something up drastically um, so that we can still pull resources where we want them to go. Uh, and then from this line, this is where all of the ingots will be forced up into our assembler. And then anything crafted by our assembler comes back down into the line. And the only reason why it gets pulled down this line is because of the sorter, which is then pulling it into the cargo containers. And once I figure out exactly uh, what we're going to do with, you know, once we get a welding ship or something, we will pipe this back up to a connector up the top uh, that will force all our components straight into the welding ship. So that it's ready to weld up whatever needs to be welded. And then yeah, on top all we've got is our single refinery for now. And a tier 3. Hopefully that's a tier 3. And a tier 3 assembler. Um, that is going to be the layout for our safe base. Uh, and all our sorting is going to be done by you know, vanilla blocks. No scripts. Uh, it's something that anyone can use even if you're on console. I don't know if they've fixed the issue with not being able to use scripts on console yet, but this is something that you guys can use. Um, but yeah, for now, we need to head back to the main base and uh, well, to our starter platform, and we need to make up a the upgrade I promised for our little drill ship uh, to make it multifunctional and able to weld. So we're going to head back. We're going to... Uh, do that and I'll meet you over on the base all right so we're back on the base and uh, we are going to go ahead and start building up our um, our attachment our welding attachment for our drill ship so that we're able to get everything that we need uh, transferred across and to do this we're just going to grab a landing gear we want the small grid version and want as close to us as we can get. Uh, that angle is going to be an issue. Luckily, no oh, scrap this time. The only reason why I'm building this up here is it's going to be easier for us to pick it up with the drill ship once it's ready. Uh, I think we can work with that. So 
And the other reason is easy access to cargo. We grab out everything we need to get that welded up. Now, I'm using a tier 3. It just gives me a little bit more health. It's, you know, you can use whatever you want. And then, on top of that, we're just going to slap a connector. We need steel plate for that. We've got steel plate. Am I standing too close? Connector facing towards the ship. Done. And then all we need is a welder. So I think I've got that on my hotbar already. Number four, need some alloy plate. We have some. I'm gonna again I'm using a tier three. It gives me a little bit more range, but like like I said, this this should I, I tested this with vanilla components. It it works the same, just you need to get in a lot closer. We will weld that to functional. Now, the only thing I would suggest, uh, if you are going to attempt to add this to one of your builds, is what I found when I was testing this, is that if you don't add thrust to it, um, it has a tendency to... Uh, to kind of weigh down that part of your ship and pull it to the ground. So I'm going to add hydrogen thrusters because I'm using a hydrogen ship, but you could just as easily add atmospheric and it would counteract the um, it would counteract the weight. Um, it, it's just something some something to do with how the game deals with subgrids. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to use Ted thrusters for this. We're just going to use basic hydrogen thrusters which we haven't unlocked so we will use uh, air thrusters ah Thruster. Yeah, no, it's easier to unlock the... The tiered thrusters than it is to unlock the vanilla ones. Okay, we need some alloy plates. Add that to our build planner, add that to our build planner, and withdraw components. I didn't make up any of the hydrogen components, so we're going to have to wait a little while for those to be made up. Shouldn't take too long. Should almost be done, yeah. Right, so now that is our drill attachment. Not our drill, our welder attachment made up. Um, it's really dank and to be able to accommodate this and make it easier for me what I've done on the ship is I've added a remote control block and a camera now I'm probably not going to use the camera that's on the ship we're probably gonna no I won't use the one on the ship because it's, it's in the wrong place we're gonna take the camera from there and we're gonna place it on the actual welder head. Uh, I am using DLC camera. If you don't have the DLC, you can use uh, a block to place a normal camera. I'm going to use a DLC one for this, just because it's one less thing to place. We'll weld that back up. And then all we need to do is load up our drill ship with as much components as we can physically fit on it. And... Uh, then dock it with the um, with the welding attachment. So if we go by ship inventory and it needs to go in the nectar and the medium cargo container because anything past there is not going to 
work for us. Um, let's think about this a little more strategically. We're going to want at least a thousand. We'll go four thousand of the interior plate. A thousand, no, four thousand of the um, steel plate. A thousand of the interior plate. We're gonna want a decent amount of computers, motors. Oh, I haven't made any small steel tube. Uh, while that's producing, we're going to grab... Some metal grids. Uh, we'll grab our... Assembly motors. We'll grab our... Tier 3 motors. Don't need any of the battery cells yet. We will need displays. Um, how much weight do we have left? We've got to wait enough weight left for 3k. Uh, we're going to want some of those, as much of those as we can carry. Okay, that is us at max capacity. So now that we've done that, we should be able to... Uh, let's turn our thrusters on. Uh, unlock from that connector. Line up with this one. Lock with it. And then we want to reset up our hotbar. So I'm going to go hotbar 2. G block tools. There is our welder. Uh, we want to add our landing gear on number seven, switch lock. And then I want to add the remote control block, uh, control, camera. No, we want to do that in the remote control block because that, that'll be useless. So let's just go control. Oh, we got our drills. Oh, our welder already added. We want our landing gear. Got to do this again. And our camera. As view so that we can, you know, see exactly what it is that we're doing. We unlock. And if we undock. So yeah, when I initially tested this without any thrusters on it. Even though those thrusters don't seem to be doing abs like anything at all, when I originally tested it, uh, without the thrusters, it um, was heavy on this end and dragged the ship down constantly. Oh, it's going to do it now. No, oh, once I've... Yeah, so it is still going to slowly drag my ship down, but um, nowhere near as bad as what it was doing when I first started testing this thing. Oh, it's doing it again. It is what it is. We'll, we'll deal with it for now. Let's go in. Uh... Jank as heck. <laughs> Let's take our ship in and just see how well this works. <laughs> uh, let's go to our camera. And we're going to start with our cargo containers. Can I get him far enough to weld the... Okay, let's just change that landing gear to not automatically lock. Because that's going to cause us issues. Uh, auto lock.
But, you know, it's jank as heck, but it's working. I don't have any components for the... It is a little, it does feel a little weird doing it like this, but it's working. Uh, let's go for the refinery. Hopefully we got everything we need for the refinery. Okay, we've almost got everything we need for the refinery. Uh, let's get the assembler. And then we'll just figure out what it is that I've forgotten to bring with me. Uh, and we'll bring it on the next trip. But all of a sudden, welding up uh, this base is not going to take us quite as long as originally... Uh, it would have taken if we did it by hand. Alright, so we are definitely missing components. Let's jump out. Let's turn our thrusters off so we don't damage anything. Let's have a look at what it is that I forgot to bring. Ah, I didn't grab any construction comp. At all. Uh, is that the only thing I'm missing from down here too? Construction comp. Construction comp. Construction comp. Yeah. So it's uh, looking fairly consistent that I just forgot to grab construction comp. And we're going to need a lot more metal grids. Jeez. That's not bad. So we can leave our welder attachment here. Uh, we can also transfer some of our resources across to it. So if we come in here and we've got our connector. Cool. So that's a bunch of resources that we don't have to kind of carry back with us and fight with uh, the space. And then that leaves us our whole cargo container to refill again. So all we need to do is turn our thrusters on. Unlock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this feels so cheatsy. All right, let's get my view back in the right spot. We'll rush back to base and uh, restock. Make sure we grab plenty of construction comp this time. That's what I was going to do. I was going to add a um, AI recorder. Make it so that we dock with the base automatically. Because, you know, I'm, I'm getting lazy. Why am I getting out? I just need to restock. Um, so I need to select cargo container on this side. And we want... is pretty much all of our construction comp. Take some motors. I'll take some more interior plate. Because we're completely out of that. Take all of the metal grids. Um, we'll cram in some more metal tube. We'll grab the little pipes. Grab some of that. What else do we need? How many computers we got? Not many. Uh, we got all our construction comp. We got a bunch more motors. I'll take some girders just in case. All right. 
We're now full. Let's head back to our cave base. Let me get my view back in a good spot. And again, all we need to do is just redock with the uh, with the welding attachment. And we're good to go again. So I'm going to go ahead and weld up uh, everything in here as much as we can with the ship. And then I'll get the rest done by hand and we'll be good to continue. Oh, what have I done now? I've really made a mess of the floor. We managed to get three of the cargo containers done uh, before I ran out of construction comp. These things must use quite a bit. 55. Eighty-five. Seems like there is a, uh, a difference between what it says. So it must be used like a hundred and something per cargo container. On top of that, um, I have managed to uh, damage the uh the welding attachment to the point of oh it wasn't very smart and we need construction comp of course um so yeah i'm gonna repair all of this and we'll be back once everything's welded oh see you guys soon now this took this took a, a lot longer than i had intended for it to take but it is finally done I think in hindsight, uh, the glitches I thought I had removed by adding thrusters to the um, to the welder kind of attachment, it helped, but it didn't completely remove the issues. So yeah, it just ended up we ended up damaging so many blocks, especially because of placement of thrusters. Uh, it it was fun, but we're done with this part. We we won't look over there. Uh, We've got this sort of system working, uh, which is, like I promised, this is much easier to show now. Um, so we've got the three sorters pulling into the ores containers, and these are just named, if I can get up here so I don't waste so much hydrogen. So these are just named uh, sorter ores, if we sort sorters. So all three of the ores are set up to whitelist and all ores and drain all um i haven't figured out how i'm going to force it to leave some in the ship uh for the o2 h2s in the ship but i will work that out a little bit later on um yes yeah, so we got three of those and that is so that we can pull as much as physically possible from this connector into these cargo containers because we don't want the uh or ships to be waiting around for too long. As long as we've got enough power to recharge them, we want them emptied and ready to go again. Um, moving on, we've added another sorter over here, which is, I think, called the O2H2. Yep, O2H2. This one is set to whitelist ice, and it is going to try and force as much ice as possible into our four O2H2 generators which will then provide enough hydrogen for the current... Currently, we have three hydrogen engines. Um, moving on from there, we have a single sorter pulling ingots. It's set to whitelist ingots and drain all, and it's going to pull all the ingots out of our refinery and into the cargo containers. 
Uh, moving on from there, we are... We've got our battery area. Um... Over here we have a our final sorter, which is our components one. Oh, I haven't turned drain all on yet. Um, which is just set to whitelist components. Let's just confirm I've turned drain all on on the other ones. Yes. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a finished basic sorter system. Um essentially like everything that comes into the base starts from this side and as long, you know, it can come from anywhere, but as long as I connect it, no, it could come from here because I have run the secondary line around. Um, so this line that allows pretty much anything to go through. Yes. So we, we can attach on anywhere. Uh, and as long as it's to this main line. Uh, and it will automatically, should automatically get sorted to where it needs to go. All right, there was a whole lot more that I wanted to try to squeeze into this episode, but I have run out of time. So we're going to call it there. Again, a huge thank you for tuning in. Uh, just a reminder, we are still looking for names for, for a name for both our base and our kind of monstrous uh, creation that we've made for our drill ship. Um, on top of that, we have also posted a, uh, kind of roadmap of what it is that I intend to do, um, over in the community and you can weigh in on whether or not you think oh, I'm close to what you're interested in seeing or whether I've missed the mark. Um, if there's anything that you want to change, stay, anything you want to stay, um, or improve on, uh, leave a comment over there and I will take all of your thoughts into consideration and improve the series that way. Uh, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. consider subscribing as well. It does really help with making this kind of content. But, you know, until next time, stay safe, look after yourself, and peace.